Hello and welcome. In this video, you will get an overview of challenge-based learning. You will learn about the defining characteristics of challenge-based learning and the origins and precursors of this approach to teaching and learning. Let's start by taking a look at the definition. What even is challenge-based learning? Challenge-based learning, abbreviated as CBL, is an approach to teaching and learning which revolves around students collaborating in teams to select, define and engage with one or a succession of authentic, locally or globally relevant challenges, which have more than one solution or none at all. This solution is typically not known yet or prepared in advance by the teacher. Students are encouraged to take ownership of their challenge by being given the autonomy of choice and options while working in self-directed teams. The teacher is responsible for facilitating the challenge-based learning environment. This means a radical shift from the sage on the stage to a coach who needs to provide scaffolding for a learning environment to unfold around interdisciplinary challenges. This requires the teacher to recognize the participatory character of this learning environment and accept a need to be flexible. To face an interdisciplinary challenge, students work with teams, often together with students from different disciplines. To support student teams, teachers and experts from different disciplines can be involved and other stakeholders from outside the higher education institution can prove valuable partners. The latter can, for example, be valuable sources of knowledge, actively collaborate with the students, function as evaluators of the outcome, or even provide challenges to be solved. The intended learning outcomes of CBL are knowledge on the one hand and competences on the other. In addition to disciplinary competences, students' development of transversal competences can be fostered. In particular, competences in the domains of collaboration, communication, problem solving, creativity, critical thinking, transdisciplinary competence and digital literacy are feasible in CBL. Challenge-based learning thus has the following characteristics. Students collaborate in interdisciplinary teams, face interdisciplinary, authentic, relevant and open-ended challenges, are empowered by choice and ownership, and deepen knowledge and develop transversal and disciplinary competences. The learning process is predominantly directed by students, is supported by reflection throughout and also by technology. The learning environment has a strong participatory character, goes beyond classroom borders. The teacher has the role of a coach and designs assessment for both process and outcome. Some aspects of the definition and characteristics of challenge-based learning will probably ring a bell. Let us take a look back and explore the origins and precursors of this approach to teaching and learning. We can distinguish two origins of challenge-based learning. The earlier one is the so-called Star Legacy Cycle of Vanderbilt University. In the 1990s, Vanderbilt University published their Software Technology for Action and Reflection, in short, STAR, Legacy Learning Cycle. It was designed as both a software for supporting learning settings and a, quote, explicit model for structuring inquiry in problem, project, and case-based learning." Unquote. Using this cycle, learning is structured into the following six phases. Challenge, generate ideas, multiple perspectives, research and revise, test your metal, and go public. The second origin is the project Apple Classroom of Tomorrow Today, ACOT 2 which aimed at improving secondary education. In 2008, it resulted in a white paper which defines challenge-based learning as, quote, an engaging multidisciplinary approach to teaching and learning 
that encourages students to leverage the technology they use in their daily lives to solve real-world problems. Challenge-based learning is collaborative and hands-on, asking students to work with peers, teachers, and experts in their communities and around the world to ask good questions, develop deeper subject area knowledge, accept and solve challenges, take action, and share their experience." Unquote. In the CBL guide published in 2016, the initial nine-step framework for structuring learning in CBL was restructured, dividing these steps into the three broad phases of engage, investigate, and act. The CBL guide, framework, and supporting documents can be found on the website challengebasedlearning.org, which is hosted by the Challenge Institute. Although CBL, as conceived in ACO2, was designed for secondary education, it is predominantly referred to in higher education literature on CBL. The framework has thus been adopted into and also adapted for higher education. While there is no theoretical account of the history and precursors of CBL, and the language used to talk about CBL varies, CBL is commonly categorized as an active approach to learning, which has its roots in experiential learning and constructivist theories of learning. It is clear that CBL shares characteristics with problem-based learning and project-based learning. Similarities include the focus on complex, pressing issues, the role of teamwork, research, and an artifact as a final output. But there are also aspects in which CBL differs from the more established approaches. The challenge in CBL is open-ended and there is no model solution to be replicated. Both the outcome and the learning process itself are central to CBL. Learning goes beyond the borders of the classroom. Experts from outside the campus can be involved in supporting teams. Learning can take place at a company site and the learning outcome is typically communicated in a public way or might be a publicly available artifact, such as a blog post. 